Hello ladies and gentlemen. In today's video I'm going to show you how to round to the nearest hundredth. As you can see we have three important things that we need to remember when rounding to the nearest hundredth. The first step in rounding to the nearest hundredth is drawing a line after the number in the hundredths place. So when you have a decimal point here, okay, this digit here, this is the tenths. This second number is the hundredths. And this third number here is the thousandths. Now what you're going to want to do is draw a number or draw a line I should say after the hundredth value. This is going to help you remember that this is the number that you're rounding. The second thing you need to remember is that if the number after your line is five or higher you round the hundredths up. The number after that line is going to be the thousandths. So we're looking at this digit right here, this number right here. If that number after your line is four or less, you keep it the same. So basically if it's five to nine, it's gonna go up, okay? And if it's zero to four, it will stay the same and it will not change. And if you're learning anything right now, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any other helpful math videos. All right, let's go ahead and get to work on rounding to the nearest hundred. So our first practice problem gives us 3.4681. So the first thing we want to do is identify which digit is the hundredth value. So we have tens, hundredths, thousands. So right here, this six is the hundredths. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line here so I know that we're going to round to that six. So I look at this number here, I look at the thousandths place, and it's going to tell me whether that six stays the same or whether it rounds up to a seven. Now eight is above a five, so it's above the number five. That means that it's going to round the six up. So that means that we're gonna go up, we're gonna round up. So we have our 3.4, so we have 3.4, and then the six is going to change to a seven. All of the digits after that turn into zeros. When you write your final answer, you don't actually need the zeros because they represent a value of nothing. So you can write your answer as 3.47. So that 8 is going to round the 6 up to a 7. Moving on to the next problem for how to round to the nearest hundredth, we have 85.2413. So we have our decimal point here in the middle, then we have the tenths value, then we have the hundredths value. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my line after the 4, which is in the hundredths value. And then I have the thousandths, which is a one. So this one is going to tell us whether the four rounds up or if it stays the same. In this case, the one is four or less because it's less than four, which means that this number four here is going to stay the same. So it's not going to round up this time. We're just going to write our 85.24 because that four stays the same. And then because we're rounding all of the digits after the four go to zero, but then your final answer does not have to include those zeros because they represent nothing. So we're going to stay with 85.24 as our final answer. The last rounding problem we're going to do in this video gives us 9.3751. So the threes in the tenths place, the sevens in the hundredths place. So I draw my line behind that seven to signify we're rounding to that seven. And then we look at the thousands place. In this case, we have a five. And the five is usually the most confusing because it's the one right in the middle. But you have to remember that a five is closer to nine. So you're going to round up. So five to nine rounds up. So if we have 9.3751, that five rounds a seven up to an eight. So it's going to be 9.38, and then we're going to use zeros at first, and then because the zeros represent nothing, we're going to go ahead and write our solution as 9.38. And if you want to do some practice for rounding, go ahead and click this link, and it will take you some quick practice problems that will grade themselves and give you a grade based on how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if the video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!